for time at all And that's all it's all For me to find an answer In your love and love I never thought I'd ever fall But then you came along Took no time at all and I know all the local lads because I know all the, the thieves and all the scoundrels and scallywags and I, they're still friends of mine back home. And they would all say, Charlie's gone all religious, you know. He's gone off his head, you know, but I mean, he's done this sort of thing before. He'll come back, you know. And thankfully, I never did come back. You know, but I, I still haven't lost those friends because when I did uh, go to the church, I said to the, to the man there, the vicar there, I said, this doesn't mean that I have to shun all of these people that are friends of mine. And he said a lovely thing, he said, no, Charlie. He said, you don't shun anybody. You go anywhere in the world, he said, but you keep your, uh, your sign and your symbol, he said, and your standard, and your standard is up there on the cross. He said, so keep those friends, go wherever you wish, but never lose sight of your standard. That time was not about to change its ways for me. Time turned me big. Time turned me cold You put the sweetness back Turned my grave to gold In my profession, uh, it's not particularly fashionable to admit to a belief of any shape or form because the current trends are to sort of, to my way of thinking, are to be as vulgar, as crass, as sort of anti-authoritarian and all the rest of it as possible. I don't subscribe to that view, and uh, lots of people will slam and condemn me for it. I like a good laugh, I'm not perfect, you know, I have all of the failings that everybody else has, but deeper inside me the hunger is for all that's good and all that's, you know, all the old things like kindness and sort of, uh, you know, honesty and all the rest of it, even though I've failed miserably on many occasions. That time was not about to change its ways for me. Time turned me bitter, time turned me cold. You put the sweetness back, turned my grave to gold. No time at all. For me to find an answer in your love in love I never thought I'd ever fall But then you came along took no time at all then you changed everything, took no time at all. I went back to Navi and I thought, well, I can't spend my life being a Navi, so what can I do, you know? And somebody said, Charlie, why don't you go into teaching? And I thought, oh, that's great, you know? So I went and applied for teaching and was uh, absolutely overwhelmed when they accepted me and I was taken in and I was my life was totally transformed Friday I was on this jackhammer knocking a road out and Monday afternoon I'm listening to Mozart you know and I thought this can't be bad at all <laughs> and then I was a teacher for 14 years and uh, although I didn't really enjoy my teaching my heart was always in the music and I did all of the jobs I did purely to sustain my family uh, although I didn't enjoy it out of those teaching years came some of my best songs uh, my wife said to me once, if you'd never have taught Charlie, you would never have written My Forever Friend. So I think, uh, well, the Almighty knew exactly what he was doing when he put me there. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. No one stands alone. My Forever Friend came about very simply. Uh, 
My sister wrote to me a card, and she's forever sending cards when it's not your birthday to tell you she loves you still, you know? She's one of those uh, nice, soppy people, you know, lovely person. And on the bottom of this card, she'd written to Charlie, my forever friend. And I thought, uh, that's a great title for a song. And at that particular time, I was writing a school assembly on friendship. I thought, great, I'll write this song for a child to sing and devote it to the ultimate friend, uh, the good Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you of mine. He's my forever friend. My lead me Wrote the song, and uh, I accompany the young lad, strangely enough, called Paddy. Not many of them in Birkenhead. And this lovely character stood up in front of the school. I played the guitar, and he sang. The teachers are in tears. And what's happened to that song is amazing. It's now played in churches, at funerals, at christenings. It's been a great sort of comfort to people in uh, in hospital, and it's. Uh, it's been incredibly good to me, and the good Lord has taken that sort of simple song, as I always called, called it, and uh, brought great consolation to many people. Mm -hmm.